What's up guys and welcome back to another PSO2 video. So today we'll be doing the new EQ Spectre of Destruction. So today the um the level 90 cap came out along with the 15 star weapons. I do not have one yet. I will show you guys in just a second. Make sure I have everything I need really quick because this will start up pretty quickly. Three of those. What? Whatever, that's fine. The last one, anyway. So um we had some extended maintenance, unfortunately. We missed out on two of these EQs earlier in the day. They actually didn't get to go off because of uh, the maintenance issues. But this is the first one that we've got. So... This waiting music's pretty good. I have it turned up a bit. Hopefully it's not too terribly loud. I think it might be a little loud. I'm actually gonna turn it down just a smidge compared to myself. Anyway, um, so, new EQ, new boss to fight, oh, make sure I have the right, I keep her striking on, good, 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 good. I am actually partying with uh, two friends, one is streaming Romanilia, she is our techer, and then my buddy Dane is playing, I think, Hunter, question mark, I think, yeah, I think he's on Hunter. Gib KR, Omega Lol, and Omega Lol. All right, here we go. So this is our first, first off, this is gonna be our reactions to this boss. He looks awesome. Uh, probably gonna die. Don't really know what to expect. He's weak to fire, that's interesting. Not sure how to feel about that, because I already can't use my best weapon on him. Let's get out of Photon Blade Fever early. And we'll just aim for his head for now. But how strange that he's weak to fire to start with. Or to or he's weak to fire just in general. His head kind of changes levels, and I don't like that. Also, his hitbox is bigger than he looks. So far, no reason to attack anywhere else that I can see, at least. We're just kind of attacking willy-nilly, hitting what we can. Getting in as many casuals as possible. I see there's a laser on me, so we're gonna get out of the way of that. Seem to be okay for the most part. And keep attacking this head. Get in more Kestrels. So far, nothing to write home about. I think it's going to be more of a uh, interesting fight when we do our Underman run because we're going to do this one in it. We're doing this one in a group full twelve man. We're going to do an Underman run as well. Okay, so it looks like we broke his mask. So. Note to self, mask can be broken, so break stance it next time. Okay. Got a sword, just time froze us. I don't know why, but I do see things on his arms can be targeted. I'm not sure if those can be broken, but we're gonna try. I see weak points on them. So we'll have to see. Looks to be a little difficult to target too. Seem to be really difficult to target actually. I think Omega Masquerade, I'm just used to kind of stepping through abilities. I'm really not getting much of that this time around. 
Oh wait, he changed his weakness. All right, wind now actually. And I'm using the wrong weapon. I didn't even notice when the weakness change happened. Could this actually be a fun fight for Bouncer if you have your full pallet? I'm not sure if that Kestrel is going to land properly. I'm also not sure how much damage I'm actually getting off of hitting these. If it's actually breakable in the first place. I can't see what my damage numbers are. I was an 18k. So let's turn it off and see what we get with a... If I can land one of these. 7k. I was a 75k. What? I am so lost. Damage disparities are all over the place. I wonder if this is reinforcing some new trend. I guess, well, no, it doesn't make sense because episode four was weakness to, uh, to wind. Okay, now he's changed forms again. Guess we aim for the heart. Okay, this will be light. I guess this will be where other people's weapons come in to play. I can't believe I actually got hit by that. But the good thing is, so will mine. I can actually reach this guy. Okay, let me step that. That weak point seems to be where we want to hit. So far, so good. Okay, that sucked. I'm not sure if that's even worth what I'm doing right now. Where did he go? Oh, whoa, 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 here we go. Where'd he go? Also, he's not staying near the middle very much, which kind of sucks. Did he form change again? I can't tell. I'm following this weak point so hardcore, I can barely tell. time stopped again at the same time I had itch on my ear which is a bad time he does seem to have quite a bit of HP I guess it might just be because we don't know how to fight him just yet maybe there's something else to this okay again his mask was breakable and I missed break stance on that that's not good seems like each phase his mask is breakable and he has a really big hitbox. I'm noticing that now, too. Like, bigger than you'd think.
Mm, I want to hit that weak spot. But my lock-on keeps going to the helmet. My blades are hitting for 20k on it. That's actually pretty insane. That's actually really high. I'm just realized how much. Oh, that hit hard. Okay, so keep in mind that's an ability that's going to one shot everyone. Not careful. Might have been a way to stop that. We just kind of. I don't know, just kind of wung it. Winged it? Or winging it? I don't know if that's the exact terminology is. But so far, the music's kind of like whatever. I don't know why I went to music immediately on my thought there. I was thinking, I was like, is this worth having the in-game music on for? And I guess it's alright. Okay, again on the time stop. I don't know why my thought process went to hitting that immediately, but... Probably because I've been doing too much Omega Masquerade. Okay, it looks like... Again, his core was a breakable part. Looks like we also have a Dark Blast ready. Oh, that's a problem. <laughs> okay, well, whoops. Oh well. That's a shame. It looks like he's dead. We killed him. Okay. Not bad for a first try. Also, I'm going to let this play out. I'm not sure if I can skip it or not, but I'm gonna let it play out regardless. Probably couldn't have. Oh, I should prank it was 26 or 29. Not great, but not bad, I suppose. That's a pretty decent fight. All in all, not bad. Did I lag the holy hell when they broke that? Didn't get really lucky on the drops, unfortunately, but that's just how the cookie crumbles, apparently. That's one out of 50 down. We have to get 50 kills. So, initial impressions? It's actually a really fun fight. I think I actually have a little bit of a leg up on damage because of the elemental changes. So I guess to show you guys what I was using really quick, just as far as equipment goes. Here are my weapons. I have five of these. They're all these arrows that are I'm using double-edged sword, radiant strike two, offensive intent with act the soul, power four, and break two. And that's 95 S attack with six PP. And that's on all five of these. I have one for each element and then my my Atra, which is called an Atlas. Atra S? Odd. Anyway, um, is four slotted, or sorry, seven slotted, double edge, double offensive intent, vampiric strike with act, power, four, and grace. Power. So that's kind of what it's rolling with right now. Vampiric strike, super helpful. And then my units just will ask. My rings were DB snatch and keeper striking. I switch over to Adrenaline if we don't have a Tekker, but in this case as you usually do. I'm using two Wayla alongside of a Queefad. So nothing too fantastic. The affixes aren't really that great. And that will be about it. Cool. Well, anyway, initial impressions. Not a fantastic EQ, but I guess not super terrible. Um, 
I kind of give it a little bit of middle of the ground or middle of the uh, middle of the pack on EQs. Probably definitely better than what we've been seeing recently. But uh, I'm gonna go ahead and cut the video here, guys. Get this uploaded. See what you guys think. Hopefully your first runs were better than mine. You guys might have gotten some cool drops because 15 stars can drop from here. So hopefully you guys got some sweet drops. Anyway, I'll see all of you guys in the next video. Take care, guys.